All right, Shalom, first and foremost, giving all praise to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rachakudash, for the spirit to do this lesson. Double honors to the elders and apostles of that great millstone who rule well, peace, and blessings to the hopeful elect who are pushing this, this gospel all over the planet Earth. Um, Shalom, Baraka Thumb to you, Akim. And uh, I'm going to get straight to it. Uh, I'm just going to roll in the spirit today, man. I didn't really prepare many precepts, but I saw this article here. It says, uh, Fuck the you know what. <laughs> Chaos in Australia as construction workers violently protest a mandate of a certain variety uh, outside Union HQ. You see how these people are turning up, man? See, this is how we know that we're at the end. The scriptures speak about there being sedition among men. I'm going to go ahead and line it up. I know y'all brothers know uh, where I'm going with this. Um, and Yahweh Shai prophesied about this beautifully, man. And you know what? This is, this is only the... Uh, this is only the beginning of what Esau wants to do, man. All right. This guy literally wants to go 10 times harder than what he's doing right now. And look at how the uh, look at the level of rebellion that you're seeing, you know. And this is Australia, man. You got to realize people in Australia, they, they live. They're not like a third world country. They're more like a second. They're like a first world borderline second world country. You know, they don't have as many luxuries as you have here in america over here in america man these people are completely spoiled man they're, the the outrage that you're seeing right there by these edomites is going to be 10 times worse over here in, in babylon right because why because they, they don't even have australians had all their guns taken away years ago <laughs> all right that that's that's how big of a difference there is that they allowed their government to take away their guns you think that's the case in america hell no man you know, let's read a little bit of this. It says uh, a violent protest against a mandatory, uh, you know, I'll just say Vanessa uh, uh, erupted outside of Melbourne Trade Union office on Monday after it was announced that construction workers would have to be to get the Vanessa to do their jobs. It says protesters were wearing high vis construction clothing, smashed windows, chanted, we are union. <laughs> F the jab and threw projectiles at the construction, forestry, maritime, mining, and energy union headquarters. Union officials attempted, man. You, you see, when people livelihoods get taken away, they act a fool, man. They didn't take long for this to, for this to pop off. It says uh, others tried to defuse the situation, waving their hands in the air, and shouting for those engaged in the violence to stop, but to no avail. Why? Because what you're doing is violence. You're trying to force somebody to take something that you have no liability or control over. All right, that's wicked as hell, and the Most High is going to destroy you. All right. Before I get that in uh, Second Ezra, the, one of the first things that pop into my mind is uh, Proverbs 29. So Lucky went to 28. It says, uh, Proverbs 29 and 2 says, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. <laughs> now, does it look like these people are rejoicing, man? You got tear gas and projectiles being thrown, people fighting, looting, busting glass. It says, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked beareth rule, the people mourn. So that tells you who's in who's in." Who's in rulership? Because you people in Australia, your, your people go back to the Edomites as well. No, ain't nobody forget about you because you haven't done as much wickedness as America's done. But you're, you're of that lineage. You took that land from Japheth down there. All right? And you had your foot on the rest of our people's neck down there too. Because best believe everywhere Jake goes, Esau's up his ass. You know? Let me get it. This is, uh, let's see. Second Ezra's 15 and 16, it says, For there shall be sedition among men and invading one another, and they shall not regard their kings nor their princes. All right? And these princes, they tell you, goes down the list. Where did they go? They threw projectiles at the construction, forestry, maritime, mining, and energy 
union headquarters. All right. So all of these agencies that that uh that approve this nonsense, they're they're going ham. All right. It says, and the course of their action shall stand in their power. And then you're seeing this right before our very eyes, man. And this whole chapter is good, man. It goes into that uh, that Jacob's trouble, basically. It says, verse 17, and a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. Now, <clears throat> what happens if this continues? Well, eventually Esau is going to lock things down. All right. He may declare martial law. Well, he's definitely going to declare it over here in America. And that's most likely going to happen uh, everywhere else, too. Um, it says, For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. Why? Because you only got like a, a, about a week or two of this going on, man, before the food trucks stop moving in. People start getting hungry, and then people really start dying. Because right now they're just upset. But you let this go on for for a couple of weeks and see what happens. Then then the real men are going to be they're going to be afraid. All right, these men that are angry right now, their anger is going to turn to fear because they're not going to know where their where their next meal is coming from. They're not going to be able to protect their families. All right. It says, "A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword." And spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. And we know that this is coming to America, man. Come on. Come on, man. And that devil Joe Biden, <laughs> he can't wait. And, and all and, and it's all you niggas that trusted in Egypt. They, you thought it was just going to be one jab. I go, no, no. It's not just one. Turns out you need a booster. Oh, it turns out you need three. You know? Next thing you know, you need five. And then they just, Esau's just going to put you on the, the subscription plan. And, and, and in perpetuity, you're going to have to go back and bow yourself to this man. See, this is why this is part of that image. This is why the apostles and elders tell you, if you take this, you probably going to take the, uh, the MOTB. For your lack of faith and unbelieving, all right, <laughs> you're gonna be given over to that spirit. This is Matthew 24 and 6. It says, "And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye not be troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet." So we're getting very close, man. How shall I say we would see these things? All right, verse seven: For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. All right, so we're seeing the famines come through, and Esau's going to bring out the real ones. Once you idiots all get Vanessa and, and completely destroy your immune systems, he's going to bring he's going to bring out the real the real deal. All right, you're going to have famines. All right, not just from natural disasters, but uh, uh, road particular roads are going to be shut down. You know, there's going to be droughts. There's going to be very, very limited amounts of food. There's going to be a squeeze, all right? You're going to have hyperinflation. It says in earthquakes in diverse places, all right? It says in all these are the beginning of sorrows. They shall deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you, and ye shall be hated of all nations for my namesake. So we're getting in that time of what we call the hour of temptation, man. And if you Jakes can't see it, you know, then... uh. Then, then there's a good chance the spirit's not dealing with you, all right. And you need to pray, all right. If you're waiting for this to come to America, where it's everywhere around your block, before you st before you try to get right, the Most High might just smoke your ass, man. He may just give you over to the sword or to the animals or to whatever spirits you have created for vengeance, you know. So, uh, I was just gonna do a quick lesson on this. Lord will not pump out another video. Uh, on this matter, hopefully y'all brothers were edified. Call halal Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rachav Kadash Wa Abab Ba Shalom.